Welcome my dear Dakashes. We are going to discuss about the interface segregation principle today, which simply states that the client should not be forced to depend upon interfaces that they don't require. Let us say we have an interface printer. Now we have a basic print functionality and we have a duplex print functionality here, which is unnecessary for some classes. We all know that uh, the C++, it does not explicitly support any interface keyword or any interface. So we can implement the interface with the help of abstract classes, which, uh, which is being done here. Now let us say we have a basic printer class, which implements this basic uh, printer interface. Now it can it can implement the basic print function, but here what we are seeing is it has to unnecessarily uh, define this duplex print also just because the interface says so. So here you see the ISP is being violated. Why? Because the client is being forced to implement this functionality when it does not require to do so. Now there is a problem. You might uh, at a first glance you might notice that what is the problem with the client uh, not being, uh, you know, uh, client being forced to implement this functionality. You, you might say, okay, just uh, leave it blank or uh, just, uh, you know, as in this statement, just throw an error. What is the problem here? Now, as your code will grow, as your interface will change according to, th to the time and the requirement, then you might think that this will break things. Let us say you have a duplex print and uh, let us say a requirement arises and it has to create, uh, it has to take another par parameter. Now this multifunction printer, it has to change this duplex print function according to the interface. Now, if uh, this will take a, a second parameter, then also it will also have to take another parameter just because it has to, uh, you know, define this functionality. It supports this functionality. But why this basic printer is being changed just because the duplex print is, you know, uh, modified. So here ISP is being violated and uh, it is creating kind of maintainability issues. So here you can get an idea of what are the benefits. First of all, uh, it offers uh, improved maintainability where the smaller interfaces, they are easier to understand, maintain and modify. We have reduced coupling where the classes, they become less tightly coupled, leading to a more flexible and uh, adaptable code base. And we have increased reusability where smaller focused interfaces, they are more likely to be reused in different contexts. Now solving the above problem, we can just, you know, break that, break that interface into multiple smaller interfaces, which, which are reusable pieces of code here. We have printable interface and we have a duplex printable interface. Now, if the basic printer wants to implement this printable interface, it can implement that only, and it does not have to unnecessarily uh, define the duplex print function. So here the task is achieved. Now you might think that uh, the SRP, the single responsibility principle, it feels a little bit similar to this, uh, you know, uh, ISP. Well, you are right that uh, the ISP, it seems very similar because they both of the uh, principles, they aim to create well-structured and uh, maintainable code. They both promote loose coupling between classes and modules. And uh, following both principles, they it can often lead to code that's easier to understand reuse and extend. Well, the basic difference here is that the SRP it, uh, applies to the internal structure of a class or module uh, and it focuses on what functionalities a class has and how they are related. While the interface uh, segregation principle here, it focuses on the, the external design of interfaces of how this interface, it has to be implemented by the clients. It is focusing more on this uh, client side of uh, interfaces and uh, it focuses on how interfaces they are used by client and it uh, it is promoting flexibility in that way. So, you know, uh, in essence, we can say that uh, SRP, it ensures your classes are focused and well-defined 
while ISP ensures your interfaces are flexible and cater to specific client needs. So this is this is about ISP. Thank you. Grab with me.